Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to draw an enlargement <coughs> of this figure. Scale factor is 3 over 2, meaning 1 and a half times. And so if I look at this point here, here will be 2. So 2 times. 3 over 2 will be 3 and that's where I'm going to take out my ruler and start to probably draw around here 1, 2 and 3 so next I will see that here is diagonal 1, 2, 3 and 4 so this means that 4 times 3 over 2 I would then have Six diagonals. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, and six diagonal. And it will be the same at the other side. Come. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again. Here will be 3 as well. Next, <coughs> I will see that this point here will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 multiplied by 3 over 2 will give me 9. So I will have 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I do the same for the other side here. And the diagonal here will be 1 and 2. So since there's a 2 diagonal here, 2 times 3 over 2 will be 3. So there will be 3 diagonal. Oops, let me just make it. Neater. One, two, three, and when I go to the other side, it's the same. And that completes this particular question. Alright, let's move on to the next question. Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given the length of a human eyeball is 24mm then they give us that the there's a model of it and the model is the length is 28.8 cm and this is in mm so the very first thing for us to take note is that we should change to the same unit you could change the 28 Point eight cm to two hundred and eighty eight mm. Multiply by ten, yeah. Okay. So finding the skill factor simply means that since this model is two hundred and eighty eight mm, and the human eyeball is twenty four mm only. How much bigger will that be? So for this particular question, then we will be able to get the scale factor pretty straightforward. Scale factor will then be equals to the image over the original to give me a value of 12. So this means that the model is 12 times larger than the human eyeball and now that we have this scale factor we are going to find the human nose of height 55 mm the human nose is 55 mm find the model in centimeter 
So pretty straightforward, the height of the model 12 times right so 55 multiplied by 12 law then I know 12 times of 55 is how much which is 600 and 60 mm but they want in cm so it's 66 cm divide by 10 okay and that's the end of this particular question solving let's continue to the next question hello everyone welcome to this video where we are given the two similar triangle angle a to angle p triangle a b B is with my Q and C is with my R and from here I will be able to get the value of M easily so M is simply 84 because we are talking about value so I don't put any units in this case as for my N then we will then have to Look at the corresponding sides. B to C is Q to R. A to B, that's where my N is, is P to Q. So the ratio of the sides are actually the same for similar triangle, meaning N over 13.8. And 5 over 7.5 they're actually equal to each other and from here I will then be able to get my n easily isn't it I just need to multiply by 13.8 on both sides and I get my answer as 9.2 cm 9.2 and therefore the value of n is 9.2 mm, sorry and that is the end of this particular question and we shall move on to the next question hello everyone welcome to this video where we are given congruent figures and so now I'm going to zoom in okay so from here right the question actually tell us the corresponding sides yeah so now I know my angle A there will be 98 degrees B is with Y C is with my C D is with my Z And from here then I can get started yeah so my angle Y C Z which is this angle yep simply one it is just one zero seven done okay because they are corresponding sides of the congruent figures angle a b c a b c will be this angle and actually from here we could then see that angle d a b is 98 degrees so it'll be good to write down that angle DAB is equals to angle Z X Y which is 98 degree and therefore I can then find my angle ABC 
radical angle ABC is then 360 minus away my 107 minus 72 and my 98 that will give me a value of 83 degrees and for those who are interested to know the reasons this is angle sum of a quad quadrilateral next find the length of a b a to b is x to z here right because they are congruent means the length is exactly the same yes and the length b z b to z will be here okay but I do know B to C. B to C and Y to C is the same. So I will have 21 here. Then I also have D to C is my Z to C, 30. So from there, then I will be able to find this particular length here already, which would simply be 30 minus away my 21, and I get 9 cm. And that sums up this particular question. And let's move on to the next question. Hello everyone, welcome to this problem where we are given first a scale of 4 cm to 500 meter. We are going to have to express in this form and when it is this form, um, both must be in cm. Okay, so in this case here, I start with 4 cm to represent 500 meter. And I'm going to first find my 1 cm first, okay? So meaning I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4 to give me 125 meter. And therefore, I will then just need to convert this to cm. And I get my answer. Done. Now for part B, I go back to what is given here, 4 cm to 500 meter, and the question actually told us to find 14 cm on the mat is represented by how many meter? So I will first want to find what is my 1 cm. Why does Mr. Tan want to do that? Because that will enable me, right, to straight away find what is my 14 cm, you see. Because all I have to do, I can multiply by 14 to give me 1750 meter, and that will be the answer for this question. And last but not least, now they give me the meter, the actual length to ask me to find in centimeter what is on the map. So I will have 500 meter that is represented by 4 cm on the map. So 1 meter, you will then see me dividing by 500. 
so that all I have to do now I just need to multiply by 625 and that will give me 5 cm and that is 5 cm on the map and with that we have come to the end of this particular video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day